good morning Aries this reading is for you for uh, the month of December this will go from December the 1st through the 15th so the first half what do we have for Aries when I was meditating on your energy Aries I was getting the ten of Pentacles so I think Something is coming towards you. Something is coming in your life that is going to be very successful, very abundant. And it could be kind of overwhelming. Um, I'm feeling like the situation that you're going to find yourself in, but I feel like it's overwhelming. But it's overwhelming with abundance. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, that could be your wealth. That could be something coming in that it would be very successful, very wealthy. Um, it could also be good health. So I think... Um, if you haven't been feeling well, I think that you're gaining your health back. Um, it can also mean family. So, I think that right now you're full of a lot of enjoyment. I think that this is a time when you are enjoying your family around you. You are kind of taking it all in, as to say. Now, the first card we have out is in the Moonology deck is what do you need to release? The waning moon. Yeah, you may need to release something that isn't really working for you at the moment. Um, but I feel like I feel like this is a release that's going to get you a little further. And I think you'll understand that more when you're in the situation. But I think releasing this thing or this person in your life actually gains you more. And it could be that it, it will gain you peace. It could be that, you know, you're getting more space in your home. Um, it could be that you just want to break free from your routine and just totally embrace and go for what you're dreaming about right now. Okay, you also have be bold and make the first move, the cardinal moon. Okay, so I think it's a really good time to um, whatever it is that you want to do, it's, it's a good time to make that move. Get started on the project that you want to do. Get started on that job um, project, that career. If you have a hobby, it's time to bring that into fruition. It could be very lucrative for you um, with me really feeling this Ten of Pentacles energy. And you have a burst of magic. Yes, yeah, so I think something's going to be very magical in your life. Something that's coming forward is really pushing you into the next step. Now everything's just flying around here. Okay, just one moment. I have a card that fell. Okay, and you have number 32, quieting your mind. At the bottom, you have opening to discovery. So yeah, I feel like you are discovering new things. You are opening your mind to the possibilities. And I think it's going to be really beneficial for you.
I think this could also be a time for you to take time out for yourself. Um, really concentrate on what relaxes you, what's going to rejuvenate your mind, spirit, and body. Go for that rejuvenation, that relaxation in your mind. And if you hear any clanking in the background, it's just those kittens. I'm going to post a picture <laughs> in my um, stories tab for you to see because they are just, oh my gosh, they're rambunctious. Okay, let's get into some tarot, Aries. What is coming forward for Aries for uh, December 1st through the 15th? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Empress. So yeah, just like what I was feeling, you are really working on something. And, and I believe that whatever it is you're working on is going to bring you some fantastic news. Um, I'm feeling like this Ace of Pentacles is the beginning of your ideas really pushing forward. And... You are bringing those ideas into fruition with this Empress energy here. I feel like whatever you're manifesting, it is going to be life-changing. Your current energy, I feel like you're really moving into something. Yes. Definitely. Okay, you have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Chariot. Yeah, so I, I really feel like this Queen of Wands is your energy. Right now, you're in this very creative mode. I feel like you are working very hard. And you're confident about everything that you're doing at the moment. And I feel like you're working at a capacity to where it's going really smooth. And it's something that you're passionate about. You're, you're very passionate about this, this project that you're working on. This situation. Whether this is your career. Whether this is your hobby. Whether this is in love. But I feel like you're very passionate about this situation. And I feel like it could lead you in... A direction that's going to move you into something better I feel like it's moving you into a better space okay see we have the ten of wands the four of wands and the seven of swords okay now, what you may not see is this Queen of Cups. And this may be something that you're not expecting. Now, this could be love, whether you're male or female. This could be a love intention coming forward for you. It could be a water sign, of course, uh, but you do have fire here as well. Um, you have earth. And you have air, so this could be any sign. This could be any sign coming forward. But I feel like <clears throat> in this period, the 1st to the 15th, I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be overwhelmed in this situation. And I feel like it's a, a very good feeling for you to have this feeling of being overwhelmed. I feel like it's being overwhelmed with um, abundance, overwhelmed with joy. But something is making you very happy. You also have the Four of Wands. So this is definitely happiness coming forward. I feel like you are... Um, 
you're in a situation, maybe someone's inviting you to celebrations, but I feel like I feel like this is you taking a victory lap. If that makes sense. And I feel like, you know, you haven't gotten this far. Um, I feel like you're going to take a look back and you're going to see all the hard work that you've done. And you, you are really appreciating what it is that you have. What it is that you're capable of. That's how I'm feeling. What it is you're capable of. I feel like you're in this moment of success and you are carrying it with pride. That's what I want to say. You're carrying this success with pride. I feel like with this Four of Wands, this may be you with family, and I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands, I feel like you're creating um, wealth. You're creating new memories. New memories that I feel are going to last a lifetime. Very interesting. Very interesting, Aries. And of course, I'm steady dropping cards, so. Okay. Let's clarify a bit. Spirit. What is this ace of, um, excuse me, what is this eight of wands? What news or actions are coming forward for Aries? The Knight of Swords. Okay, so it's going to be news that you've been waiting for. This is going to be news that's um, actually coming forward. And like I said, this could be a lifestyle change. You may be moving to a new home or a new location. This is something, maybe you're working for work. Excuse me, maybe you're moving for work. Or maybe you're just traveling, but I feel like you're moving to a certain destination and it is going to be a complete lifestyle change. What do we have for the Ace of Pentacles? What new beginnings do we have going on here? What new beginning spirit? Okay, the Magician. Okay, so this is definitely something that you've been working on. This is something that you've been creating. Um, this is a vision that you had that you're making into reality. What is this Empress energy, Spirit? Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're you're definitely you're definitely working hard, and you've mastered something that is going to bring you great wealth. I feel like whatever this is, this is just truly amazing, Aries. I'm getting a very excited feeling pulling these cards. What is this nine of uh, Knight of Cups, please? Spirit, what is this Knight of Cups? What is this Knight of Cups? Okay, you got the Three of Swords in reverse. So I feel like whatever this is, you put a lot of sleepless nights into it. It's something that you um, have been dreaming about. It's something that brings you a lot of happiness and joy. I feel like you're gaining a lot with this action okay and with the queen of wands you have the chariot again so it's yeah you're definitely moving 
you're definitely taking an action. And this action that you're taking is going to be just life changing. Whatever this action is. Okay, so yeah, we have the Four of Cups on the Chariot. So I, I feel like in this move, um, that you're making this this lifestyle change. I feel like this was something that you thought was a missed opportunity. This is something that you only dreamed about. And you never really thought it was possible. I feel like you um, really gave up hope on this situation. And now you're moving forward with it. Now it's actually coming into fruition. You're moving down the path to where you need to go. The universe is leading you into this direction. Maybe the earner, the universe redirected you um, during some moments. If I remember right, I think um, a couple readings back, I, I believe you got the tower. And I believe that the... the this tower moment actually pushed you into the right direction. It redirected your actions. Okay, and with the Ten of Wands, you have the Two of Swords. So there may be very important decisions that you need to make that you aren't really aware of. Um, maybe you don't really understand the answers, but you aren't really aware of these choices just yet but those choices are going to become clear that's why i feel with this four of wands and four of swords four four so yeah and i feel like that's very significant for you um i feel like whatever this four of wands is it's gonna make it it's like a recovery for you this is you recovering and building up your happiness once again. Maybe you're recovering from your celebration. But that's what I feel like that is. Recovery. Okay, and with the Seven of Swords, you have the Page of Cups. So I feel like... With the Seven of Swords and this Page of Cups, I feel like news, the news that's coming in is very exhilarating. It's going to be, it's going to catch you by surprise is how I'm feeling. This news is going to catch you by surprise. Very, very interesting. Now, at the bottom, what you don't notice, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So, I feel like, you know, the these bad cards, these cards that are normally, you know, very negative in tarot, are coming out for you, ne are coming out for you reversed. So, I feel like you are moving past your fears. You're coming out of your... Your nightmare so to say you can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel and th that's exactly how I'm feeling with this reading that you finally see that light at the end of the tunnel and at the end of the tunnel in the light is your full happiness your full abundance this life-changing moment beautiful reading Aries I'm very excited in the comment section below, claim it. Write in the comment section, claim it. Because this is for you, Aries. This reading is for you. Okay, let's get an angel card. Let's see what angel guidance has to say for you. Let's get an angel card for Aries. Okay, we have Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals and your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So yeah, you may have um, a love for animals. 
you may have pets by your side who are protected. You and your pets, you and your loved ones are protected at this moment. Okay, and we have Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So yeah, just what I felt, something very positive is coming forward. And you have at the bottom, Azure. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Very beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. Okay, Aries, this is your reading. And uh, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't, you don't miss any uploads. And uh, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more uh, clarifying uh, moments that you may not see coming. And many blessings to you, Aries. Love and light.